Be for fucking real, bro. Dude, why does this always happen, bro? Okay, let's uh let's watch Walter Masterson has done it again. He's done done it again. No, but that unironically. Okay, guys, uh, be normal as I always say. Walter Masterson's out there doing the damn thing, talking to MAGA voters. Here is Hogwatch once again. I think my daughter should be learning what consent is. <laughs> no, that's ridiculous. Does anyone care about the migrant crisis in this country? <laughs> has anyone personally been affected by it? How has it affected you personally? Oh it hasn't. God. So what's happened to you? <sighs> well, nothing personally. If Democrats do somehow steal this election again, there will be a civil war. So you would support, like, um, health care for all? I guess I would, yeah. Bye. Taylor Swift is a psyop. Yes. That's right, baby. Okay, there you go. There, 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 there's the Walter who knows how to say words. Yeah, we're taking this country back. Michigan, baby. Michigan. Uh, it could be colder. <laughs> Donald Trump said it himself when he quoted 2 Chronicles 7.14, which is one of my favorite verses out of the Bible. It says that <clears throat> if my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves, being humble really is important. It's number one. The Bible says, Bible says he doesn't humble you. The Bible asks you, God says, ask us to humble ourselves. And his ability to actually happen. Donald Trump, famously humble guy. When I think of words to describe the former president of the United States of America, humble is the one that comes to mind immediately, I think. That is precisely the one I think of, humble. And also, the, the second word that comes to mind is how not self-interested he is, how selfless he is. Bro, regular old Joe. Actually, no, that's not, is that him? Like, we'll, we'll know because it, we'll know if it's his plane because it says Donald Trump on it. Yeah. Which is very humble. I'm sorry, wait, we were talking about, we were talking about humility? Yes. Oh, so, so yeah, humility. So the, humility. Bible, <laughs> the Bible calls us to actually humble ourselves. You don't need to be teaching children about consent. Six is no. I think these yeah. teachers are these teachers are predators. Yeah. Yeah. These teachers are predators teach for teaching. ABCs. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. They're teaching. They're teaching that. my daughter about consent. Consent. Yeah. About, there's yeah. The, the consent about. Uh, the con yeah. Like what, without, what, what is consent? Without your without your parents knowing what, what these teachers are doing. Is it a sexual term? Yeah. I I didn't know. Yeah. yeah, like, like, yeah like you know. You, so you know what consent is. No. Oh, okay. So consent is like, um, you know, like if someone is gonna putting a banana in a banana. Yeah, and that's you know, but you have to consent yeah. to that. If, yeah. Say like yes, that's okay. Yes, that's yes, that's okay, or no, that's not okay. And if you don't give consent, then it's um like just a rape or something. Right. My daughter, they're teaching her. Bro, they're so dumb, dude. It's just like they're so stupid. I don't know what to say about this other than like, I miss Trump supporters. So they used to come into the chat all the time. About consent. Have you heard of this? How old is your daughter? That's a great question. You know what? How old should she be? How how old do you? What 18. age she? So eighteen. Then she can learn about consent. Yes. Yeah. That is, until then. Thank you. Then, anyone should get their ass beat. Technically. Yeah. I, I until believe then, that technically the age of consent in Michigan is sixteen. No, she shouldn't be learning still. what is consent. Well, wait, wait, well right. Wait, 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 how old is she? Yo, that's sus. That's sus, bro. What the? Bro, photographic memory when it comes to age of consent in each individual state is wild, okay? Like 13 and you know, 13. That's, no. you know she's, that's too young to be teaching someone, a, a child, like about consent. What is consent, you know? Well, they want to mutilate our children too, you know? Yeah. Teach them that they should transition, that that's the solution to whatever issues they may or may not have. And, and uh, they do permanent damage to our kids and that's... A shame. It's Luciferian. But That's yeah. what it is. It's called manufactured consent. It's a seduction routine. Wait, the, what? The, the, the worst. It, it's very Luciferian, and it's very hard for a lot of people to wrap their minds around it because a, most people in the world. It's called the People's History of the United States, right? You know, I'm talking about the real, the real history, the people's history, not the history they teach in our schools.
That's why I'm a QAnon conspiracy theorist, MAGA Trump supporter. Because of Howard Zinn and uh, what's that other guy's name? Noah Chom Chomsky? Manufactured consent? Is this one of those uh, MAGA communists? No, I'm just kidding. Of course not. She doesn't know what the f*** she's saying. Do not grasp the concept how evil a lot of a lot of people are that get into positions uh, to be able to say that it's okay to show pornography to children. What did you say the age of consent was in Michigan? I think the age of consent is 16 in the state of Michigan. It's different from federal we're law. Vote. We're talking to young voters and stuff about the woke indoctrination. Are you in school? Yeah. What's, I mean, what's it like with all this woke indoctrination stuff? It's terrible. Yeah. It's just terrible. What's it look like? It's just, it's, it's bad. It looks bad. Yeah. So yeah. Like, like specifically, like, what is it, like, what are they doing to you? It's just terrible stuff, you know? Yeah. Terrible. Just, yeah, I mean, we're just looking for, like, an example of, like, what's going on in your school. Like, what are they doing to you? Terrible stuff. Yeah. Somehow, it's <laughs> what the fuck are they doing, bro? Kicking cow poop off our boots, using the N word and anti LGBTQ, and that's ridiculous. Stay away from our kids till they're 13 years old. The bottom line <laughs> is let's teach anatomy, right? And let's let people make their own decisions about they wanted, what they want to do with their lives. I had to deal with that with my daughter's um, thing. So I, she does uh, child beauty pageants. Recently, uh, in the um, swimsuit uh, it's competition things this someone came in this uh, this girl was wearing a uh, rainbow bikini and it totally distracted everyone it distracted my daughter she nearly like fell off the pole and you know ruined it's everything it's ridiculous it's essentially it's grooming is what it is it's yeah. absolutely ridiculous we've got to get back on the tracks we need common sense back in my daughter's school they're teaching consent and I don't think my daughter should be learning what consent is. <laughs> no, that's ridiculous. It's, that's it's not like, something for the schools. Let's yeah. stick with math, reading, writing, yeah, yeah, whatever science. Science and yes. math. They're Technology. teaching my daughter what's yes. what is consent. You it's know, ridiculous. Yeah. My daughter, they're teaching her consent. Mm. And yeah, I'm angry. You're right, brother. Don't teach these children what consent is. After all, <clears throat> that is a big part of why a lot of conservatives don't like sex ed, you know? It's like, this is ridiculous. Just think about that. You shouldn't, you know, stick to science, stick to math. You know, exactly. you don't need to teach my daughter about no. consent. No, school's about just learning the basic shit, you're right. My daughter right now, it's, they're teaching her consent. Yeah. Which is, like, ridiculous. It's like, you know, girls shouldn't be learning about consent. Yeah, and like, non-binary and stuff, you know, it's terrible. What's the biggest issue for you right now as a voter? Uh, I believe immigration is a huge problem right now. What's well, one of the biggest issues for you right now as a voter? Border security. The border. Yeah, the border, definitely. Border. What's your biggest concern as a voter? Probably the border. I would have to say probably the illegal immigration. What's the biggest issue right now that you want to see solved? Closing the border. What's That's one of the sure. biggest issues you care about as a voter? Build the wall. Build the wall. Build the, Build the wall. wall. That's the most important thing. The migrant crisis, how has it affected you personally? Nothing. It hasn't. <laughs> personally, I don't think I've been personally affected yet. Wait, why, why not? Yet. Well, they have, there's no services being used in the small town that I'm used. They haven't overwhelmed my little small town. Yeah. They haven't affected my work yet or anything like that however it's affected me thinking that it's possible there could be terrorists coming through there there's dude it's so funny it's like <laughs> my imagined fears need to be addressed is like 90 percent of american politics half the country unironically is like being fed a healthy dose of paranoid delusion from mainstream media and they just like consistently get hopped up on said paranoid delusions create these fucking fantasy scenarios in their minds and then we have to sit there and act like they're being normal they sit around and make up new things to be afraid of it's crazy it's like a child's brain it's like oh well uh i went to sleep and i and i imagined a scary dream and now i'm scared except now that's like dictating policy great okay that's cool the Democratic Party should basically lean into that and try to win some of these voters, maybe. We're looking for people that had, you know, a personal story about how they're affected by the southern border and the border crisis. Does anyone here have a, a story? No. What's the number one issue you have as a voter? 
letting people on the border on, on uh, immigrants. Have you been personally affected uh, by the migrant crisis? Not so far. I haven't seen anything. Does anyone have a personal story of how, how they were affected by the migrant crisis? Does anyone care about the migrant crisis in this country? Has anyone personally been affected by it? We all are personally affected by you, it. Oh, good. Do you have a good story about it? We're trying to get one person to like tell us I their personal. I don't have a direct story, but got to find someone with a direct story. I know. That's what we're trying to do. That's why we're calling out bothering people. But someone, someone's going to have one. It's so important like to all of us. It's, like, it's my number one issue. What are you looking for? We're looking for someone with a personal story about the migrant crisis, the migrant crisis or the border. Not have a personal story. Yeah, because everyone cares about it, right? It's like our number one issue. Yeah, does anyone have a personal story about the migrant crisis? Anyone? That was so funny. Can't find a single person with a personal story. <laughs> she's, so, she's so personally deflated when she's like, yeah, sorry, I don't have a, a migrant story where an immigrant raped me. One day, though, maybe I can come back to you, give you something personally, you know, maybe they stole my, my gerb or they stole my, my catalytic converter or something, you know? I am very scared, though. One of them literally says, I wish it did. Yeah, I wish I did. I saw that. Hey, Hold I'll on. tell you something. I'm yeah. from Canada. It took me a half hour to cross what the up? border. Legally. Okay? And huh. meanwhile... Wait, hang on. Do, do, do you guys know this guy? No. Dude, I, I love the fit you have on. Your work fit is hilarious. Marat comes in with a tucked in polo tee every day. Oh, he found one. Oh, no. Okay, sure. Canada. It took me a half hour to cross the border. Legally. Okay? And... Meanwhile, Wait, hang on. Do, do, do you guys know this guy? No, 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 no. I can show you my driver's license. Okay, okay. Well, I mean, we should vet him. Coming to go across our border, stealing our jobs, going to our rallies. He loves Here's my health uh, card he from Canada. Man. Oh yeah, what's okay. that like, by the way? What's that? What, what, what's that health? What? No, bro. Are you for be for fucking real, bro? He said it took him 30 minutes to get over the border, dude. Why does this always happen, bro? Why does this always happen? Canada is not sending their best, dog. Straight up, dude. Oh my God. Canada is always sending their worst, brother. 30 minutes of demoralizing travel with your worldly positions and paying your entire life savings. I can't believe he's met, he's upset about crossing the border in 30 minutes. Like, bitch, have you flown into LAX? What do you mean 30 minutes? Am I crazy? I feel like I'm an American citizen. I come back into the United States of America. That shit is not taking 30 minutes, dog. I'm talking like from the moment that the plane touches the ground to like getting out of LAX. That's like a two to three hour process sometimes on international travel. I was in Japan. I made three Canadian software engineers that work in Seattle who told me they would vote for Trump because of the border crisis. It uh, sucks. Yeah. Coming across legally takes you forever. They they grill you. But they grill you? Like, it's, it's really oh, yeah, intense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They grill you. Want to know what you know? Open the trunk. Open the windows. Let's see what's in the car. What, what so, sounds there? like they're doing it right. By, uh, by He's using it as a comparison saying, why don't they come over legally? No, dude. He's saying legal immigration takes a really long time. Okay? And that's partially because of these illegal immigrants that are ruining it for the rest of us. I don't think you understand the level of mania that he's operating on. He's literally saying a 30 minute border crossing is only that long and annoying for him because of all the people that are crossing the border illegally. That's what he thinks, which is hilarious because yes, the length of the legal asylum uh, seeker process is unironically causing illegal immigration into the country. Now, what I find particularly strange about this is that he doesn't recognize that and he thinks that the 30 minutes of inconvenience that he has is far worse than the 13 year long process it takes for some people to legally come into the country. Oh, this tweet for me shows how silly the border crisis is. Biden banned travel from South Africa was a new COVID variant. Immigrants have recently been apprehended crossing our border illegally from South Africa. Biden is doing nothing to stop immigrants from South Africa entering illegally. Pure politics and hypocrisy. Yeah. What do you mean? There's a massive, massive influx. Dude by that border oh they're doing it right but my point is you know i'm just a middle class canadian and they're giving me crap and meanwhile anyone can come across the southern border well yeah, yeah dude you just said you're not letting him explain his position i got it i got it right next time you should fly to tijuana and then drive back yeah, up exactly i haven't personally been affected but i don't like the fact that the drugs are affecting millions yeah. personal Anyone? no 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 one
You have one? You have a personal story about the border? I don't have a personal story about the border, but I was really pissed off that one judge, Carney Barrett, when she struck down the, the border thing in Texas because it was yeah. so important that we need. We're trying to get personal stories about the migrant crisis. Anyone have a good one? The migrant crisis, is anyone, so you've been personal? I don't have a Oh, you're, yeah, okay. Does anyone have a good personal story about the migrant crisis? We're trying to get one for our podcast. Like something that happened to them or maybe someone they know? Just happened to you or happened to a friend? No? We want to see if anyone's had a personal story where the migrant crisis affected them. Uh, so you don't, I, I wish I did. Yeah. I wish you did too. Has anyone here been personally affected? I wish I did! Yo! I wish I did, brother! Them sexy ass salsa dancers, I wish they would put me down. You know what I'm saying? I dream about a future where that happens to me. I want to be victimized. Ooh, it's so sick. It's so f dope. Yeah. <laughs> I wish something would happen to me so I can substantiate my irrational fears is hilarious because that also basically gives the game away twofold. You know that it's an irrational fear when you want to substantiate it. You know it's fake. And you're still believing in it. The falsehood being real is more important to you than the potential consequence of like being harmed by an undocumented migrant down the line. Affected by the migrant crisis? Anyone? How many of you care about a strong southern border? Huh? Me. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. Strong, strong southern border. Yeah. So do you have do you have a thing about do you have a, like a pers a story about how the migrant crisis has personally affected you? Well, uh, I am from New York State, so I get a lot of stories, and I see a lot of stories that's going on with New York State. So what's Ooh. happened to you? <sighs> well, nothing personally. Your family? Do they have a personal story? Yeah, they um, I they're they're trashing hotels. They're trashing motels. Your family owns these hotels? No, no, they don't okay. own any hotels. So wait, so, okay, yeah, we were trying to find, like, someone, we want someone to say, like, all right, this is, like, our hotel, and it was trashed and everything, because they're trying to get, like... Otherwise, it's just, like, he said, she said. Yeah, yeah, we're, yeah. yeah. I, I don't have any personal. And this is the number one issue you have. Uh, I love this, because, it, it, dude, he's literally describing... No, he's describing what he saw on television, dog. That's it. No, he's describing what he saw on TV. We watch those news articles ourselves. We watch those news reports. They're playing that shit on Fox News on repeat, nonstop. Guys, you're also talking about a group of individuals that have never stepped foot inside of a city and are genuinely terrified of it because they personally think that, like, personally, they think that cities are, are crime-ridden shitholes and, like, they'll immediately get, like, the knockout game done to them, okay? Okay. So their entire framework and their entire fears come from the TV. That's it. And they're so passionate and they're so outraged by what the TV man is telling them. Uh, as a voter. Oh, yeah. Without a doubt, number one issue. We'll have like a personal story about how they were affected. Yeah, I don't. don't I don't. Oh, okay. I don't. Thank what, you. What is your number one issue? Pardon? The number one issue you have uh, as a voter. I don't want it. I want the wall. The illegals that are everywhere. Yeah, I have uh, my... I do respect for... Uh, I do have respect for Walter not doing the... Oh, well, Biden is pushing for the wall. Even though, I guess in the situation, it would still fit. You know what I mean? To like, just to see their reaction. But I live in Michigan and I do strong... <laughs> I do support a strong southern border with Ohio, though. Hell yeah, brother. That's what I'm talking about. A too. family has a property near the border and uh, these illegals cross through the property and I uh, defend myself against them, I shoot at them. And I'm worried if that Biden gets reelected, that I'm gonna get prosecuted for, you know, for hitting some of them. Sure. Yeah. That's why he can't. That's why he can't get elected, right. yeah, really. yeah. I have property by the border, it's a family property and illegals or migrants come over the property and we shoot at them and, and I'm worried that if the Democrats, if Biden gets reelected, I'm going to get. I think one of the craziest parts about what Walter is doing here is that, yeah, he is lying, except he's actually not lying. He's not shooting at the migrants, but there is a guy in California who did do that. He's describing a real story that we watched on 60 fucking minutes. He, it's not him. But he is basically describing a real person. Get you know prosecuted or something for shooting at for them. something you you know what you you have every right to defend. And I'm worried that if the Demo Biden gets reelected, I'm 
going to get prosecuted for the people that I hit. Oh, for sure. Yeah, for it's sure just terrible. No I mean, I think I hit someone last week, and I'm just, you know. Do you think you did, really? <laughs> yeah, it's just like, you know, and like, um, um, but like, you know, what are you going to do? Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do, right? Yeah. Take up arms, protect what's yours. Migrants cross the border. Not just that guy, there are multiple vigilante gangs doing this shit. And they go through my property and I defend myself. And uh, I'm worried that if the or Biden gets reelected, I'm gonna, you know, get prosecuted for, you know, shooting at these people. So that's ridiculous. I mean, A, I don't have, we don't really have any issue with migrants. It's illegal immigration, which is what you're talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah. And we have absolutely well, got to stop it. We've yeah. got to lock the border. I call down. them migrants. You call uh, them illegal. Well, yeah. I mean, you know. <laughs> really worried me. I was like, I hope Biden doesn't get reelected because I think I hit someone as they came over the border. It's been a mess. I've, uh, I'll tell you this. I was. If Democrats do somehow steal this election again, there will be a civil war. Yeah, it's not going to go over good. <laughs> I don't know if you heard about it. In our county, we had a homeless shelter that was being... The other conservative was talking to with the zip, um, with the, with the like, the half zip or whatever, the quarter zip, he's running for office. That's why he's, like, a little bit smarter. ...used to house migrants, and we got it shut down. Good we, for you. Thank good you, for yeah. You. Great we job. got them all... We had the building condemned... And then they started, you know, camping out in tents outside. So we had the police, you know, evacuate them and push them out of the county completely. Good for, good for you. Yeah. It needs to be done that. Yeah. Listen, we have homeless veterans. We have children that are starving. We had a building inspector come. Yeah, these people are disgusting because, like, they're also the first to be, like, they're also the first to, like, advocate to assassinate the homeless veterans by way of the police. You know what I mean? They don't give a shit. Nobody gives a f First of all, no one gives a f about veterans let's be for real okay you know 22 a day just remember 22 a day uh secondly secondly uh they especially don't give a shit about homeless veterans because they literally are advocating against them all the time the only time a conservative ever cares about any of these issues whether it be mental health or homeless veterans or anything like that 22 a day is is the number of veterans that kill themselves every single day in this country okay they don't care about non-homeless veterans. They don't care about homeless veterans. They don't care about veterans at all. My point was, they especially don't give a fuck about homeless veterans. They only care about them as long as they can use it as a talking point against something else. That's it. That's literally it. Republicans never bring up issues like real issues that are solvable by legislation that deserve to be solved until they can use it against some other fucking reason. Until they can use it against some other issue that they refuse to solve. Oh, gun control? How about mental health? It's like, okay, do something about mental health. Ah, no, f you. Immigration? How about homeless veterans? Okay, let's give them homes. Oh, that'd be communism. So why'd you bring it up? Suck my dick, man. Come um, and they condemn the building, evacuated so everyone. Get rid of the migrants? Yeah. Oh, well, good. Yeah. They, they, my heart goes out to migrants. They, I, it really yeah. does. I mean, I'm sorry for their situation, yeah, but yeah. they can't come over here. Has there always been a conservative movement like MAGA before Trump? They seem outrightly racist and hateful and insane. Yes. This is what the conservative movement always has been. I asked because I started paying attention to politics since 2019. Yes. Um, this is what the conservative movement has always been. The main difference, I guess, uh, with Trump was that Trump was the first time a person in elected office openly spoke exactly like the dudes on the ground that vote consistently and reliably for the Republican Party. That's the major difference. That's why they always say he's so truthful. Because, because he is a dishonest piece of shit that is honest about his dishonesty. Do you understand? He's honestly dishonest. This is something that I have personally experienced in the many years that I've, uh, you know, duked it out, debated people in the marketplace of ideas and, and have advocated for uh, socialism in the United States of America. One thing that I came to recognize is that the American audiences and Americans in general, American capitalists, regardless of their class position, look at the corporate structure as inherently undemocratic, but expect it to be. Like, they look at corporations 
And if you tell them like, well, it's not, it's authoritarian. It's a fascist design. Like that's how corporations work. They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah it's fine. Like that's what it's supposed to be like. They have way more to tolerance for a brutal authoritarian dictatorship when it's a corporation. Yeah, the honest dishonesty is a big reason why my family's voting for them. Yep. Like they have no framework of analyzing that from uh, the, the, the perspective of like, could this be a democracy? Could there be more democracy here? Could we run this in a better way? Nope. I bought this poncho. Where'd you get it? <laughs> Actually, I got it at the fair. <laughs> Yep, he'll oh, wow. there. And then they started camping outside the migrants, so we had the police, you know, get them out of the county, push them over, and so it's just, you know, ridiculous. I mean, I mean, we have homeless veterans sleeping on the streets. We shouldn't have homeless veterans on the streets over migrants. And then we had the police kick them out and, you know, push them out of the county because they were in tents outside the Not county, money, outside the building once it was they condemned. Don't let American citizens do that they shouldn't let the illegals do that they're trying to make it a one vote state please ask should we let americans do that because that'd be real sick i know i know what he's doing here obviously but i really want to hear them openly be like well actually they shouldn't let americans do that either <laughs> you know what i mean our country and it's like no yeah, one person one vote so the homeless shelter is completely closed down in my county so it's like a win-win yes but where are they now well they were in tents outside they were and so we had to get the police to push them into like the next county and stuff yeah. and How about we push them back over the border somebody has to help the homeless veterans sometimes they, everybody needs a little help now and then what's the difference if so wait food stamps isn't socialism no i'm saying there's people who are out there on on food stamps they're getting free insurance and whatever why couldn't we help you know, other people in bad situations as well. You know, if we could. We, we, I mean, we don't do it because it's socialism, though. Like we don't. We're not a socialist country. That's what we want to be. You know. Americans has always been known to, to help, help people. You know. Okay. I'm not so, saying I don't so, say you. So you, so you would you support free money all the time. But yeah, but so you would support like um, health care for all. Um, I guess I would. Yeah. Okay. I would. So housing for all, health care for no, all. No, not what? housing for all. That's not Just what I Yo, I'm not even joking. She's got to be a landlord or some. That's a real estate developer. Come on. Because like, like, wait, not housing. Just the veterans. Okay, I don't want to misquote you there. Right. Yeah, we need to take care of veterans. What's the biggest issue right now that you want to see solved? Closing the border. Is this an example of the human nature being innately greedy and selfish? Yeah. Um, human nature is not innately greedy and selfish where we have uh, a tremendous amount of uh, collective effort put into society being built. The only reason why we think human nature is innately greedy, innately greedy and selfish is because we exist under a capitalist structure. For those who live under capitalism, the assumption that greed is natural is no different than a coal miner thinking that black lung is natural and human nature. It is a byproduct of our circumstances. It is what we are taught. Anyway, it is what we're taught since birth. However, however, the writer's always been dick bags. Oh, yeah. Here, you want to see some good shit? Wait. Yep. For people who are asking, like, you know, reactionary conservatism, has it always been this outwardly racist? Yes. The answer is. Yes. And also outwardly anti-communist, anti-socialist. Some of the people in that voter, photo are still voting. I know. Some of the people in that photo are now the president of the United States of America, Joe Brandon. No, I'm just kidding. Um, okay, let's keep going. But, exactly. And digging for resources. Exactly what Trump said. Exactly what he We're not drilling enough. We're not drilling enough. We're not drilling enough. It's like, it's like, has Biden drilled anywhere? Exactly. We're not getting enough sh done the four years that biden has been in office we haven't got anything done i'm it's like it's like he hasn't yeah. signed any drilling permits for anything absolutely not that's why i'm excited for this so we, you know, trump it's like we want to see that number double triple of the amount of drilling permits for yeah. oil and natural gas exactly that's well, what we need we should probably for the michigan baby okay michigan democratic primary election results are gonna come in soon